Good morning guys, day two officially, our full second day. Today's also very exciting, we're far more knowledgeable. Um, I've convinced my mum to go to Cannes again tonight because of course it's the Chris Hemsworth premiere and I'm not saying, you know, I'm gonna try and meet anyone, I just, the vibe, it's a once in a lifetime experience, it's unlikely I'll be back here again, um, well, Hopefully I can manifest, you know, as a content creator, having some kind of partnerships or something to do with Cannes Film Festival eventually, if we make it there. But, you know, as a tourist, um, I'm probably never going to come back to see this, so it's a very special experience. So we will probably make it back there in the evening, so that's very exciting just to experience the vibe, maybe see a few celebrities, but yeah, very exciting. And then I'm going to do a little outfit of the day for you now. Um, we are starting at Monaco though. We are going to a train station. We already have those tickets. And then, yeah, come back, we'll see. And then towards the evening, go back to Cannes. So hopefully I'll be able to get tons of exciting footage for you guys from there. This jacket that I'm wearing, because I'm, like I said, we learn, I'm smart. It is from LK Bennett, but I did get it secondhand. But what an amazing find. And it fits the colours, even though it's completely different. It fits the colours well. Red lips to match. These earrings, which are from AliExpress, but... No, 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 because I have to see what I'm showing in the camera. Um, my mum's just directing me here. But um, yeah, so cute blue earrings that do fit the dress nicely. Um, and it's a long sheen dress. Please ignore the messy bed behind me. But yeah, it's a long sheen dress. I'm wearing my mum's fit flops just because they're the comfiest thing. Please don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, then my Primark bag again. And that's kind of it. I did actually have a bracelet, which I think I'll just have to wear tomorrow. It doesn't, it would be too much for this right now, but I'm really liking this look. And then I redid my hair a little bit um, with tons and tons of hairspray. So we'll see if it holds up. And yeah, makeup is pretty neutral again, but I will see you soon in Monaco. We have arrived in Monte Carlo now, in Monaco. That was a really quick journey. From Nice, it's literally 20 minutes. And I'm actually getting a lot better at vlogging and everything, having much less social anxiety, because I've decided after seeing the celebs in Cannes, who cares, it just does not matter. If they can do all of that and savor in the attention, then I can do that too. So I think behind me there is the Hermitage Hotel. You can't really see it in focus right now. Um, I feel like that's probably where the film Monte Carlo with Selena Gomez was. Is that still a pop culture icon? I don't know if that film is, but yeah, I've seen it referenced on TikTok. So if anyone is interested, I guess some of the set and filming is there. I have just been pestering my mum for content, but it's all good. Um, such beautiful scenery. You don't really need to redo many of the shots. So yeah, she's still learning to take a million. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I almost like, just take a million, just take a million. But no, we got lovely, lovely content. Just walking around, it's quite peaceful here. Not as busy as up more on the hills and the, you know, uh, mountainous roads. Um, behind us is the kind of Grand Prix track, I believe. Everything's set up for the Grand Prix, so luckily we timed our trip so well that literally everything is already, you know, happening that's super significant. Cannes Film Festival and uh, Grand Prix, so this is, yeah, very special. And we're walking now on our way to the palace. We are sat now at lunch, um, a really cute restaurant called Le Pinocchio, literally Pinocchio, so that's a cute uh, Disney fairy tale reference in honestly what feels like a gorgeous fairy tale town because we're in the old town part of Monaco now. And yeah, luckily it was the first restaurant we stopped to look at and they did have a vegan spaghetti option, so that's going to be great. I'll show you the food again when it arrives because some people might be interested, you might want to see what we actually have at the restaurant and uh, yeah. So I'll show you around a little bit after and then we're going to go visit the palace after this.
update. Um, I know I probably haven't been that good at like post afternoon, post evening uh, updates because we get really tired and we come back late. And uh, yeah, but basically we were in Monaco today, really lovely, fabulous Monte Carlo. You'll have seen clips from the palace outside the cathedral we did go in but i don't think i really you know i took one photo and um yeah walking around the old town led pinocchio for lunch so sweet and lovely and charming and beautiful like a fairy tale as i said we've been very very lucky with the weather i did finally manifest it because i was affirming that there's no rain and everything's great and that's what it was the sunshine is even out still so wonderful i'm in the same dress i am wearing a cardigan on top but we'll see maybe some more photos or anything um, i can take it off and then my earrings again because i love these they're yeah really cute and also another pair that i wanted to wear because the pair from earlier, the blue pair, were really uncomfortable. I had another pair. I couldn't only find one of them. Ah, so that's a bit annoying. But yeah, I, I topped up my red lips. Very cute, very can. Did a little bit more bronzer. And yeah, I think that's it. We are ready to go now. And topped up perfume. Just a nice little, little afternoon refresh. Not that we're going to bump into Chris Hemsworth or anything. But you know what? Let's put it out into the universe. We're going to see the celebs. We're going to be... Just on the outside of all the excitement going on, we'll see how Cannes is. It's very, very exciting to be there during the film festival. Um, yeah, so we're heading off now. I'm pretty much in the same outfit, by the way, so no updates there, but I will see you later. We're walking down La Croissette. Uh, we were stood outside Hotel Martinez, literally, pulling a Hailey Bieber circa 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012, as she, as she stood around you know, Justin's hotels and everything. No shade to her, she's lovely. Um, but we've all seen it. Look up the TikToks if you don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, we were stood around, didn't really see that much, but it's still exciting. We're gonna try and make our way over to the Furiosa premiere and see what's going on around there. Um, yeah, so exciting stuff. The Warner Bros. Motion Picture. Tom Burke, Alida Brown, and Elizabeth Aki. Hey guys, so I have what is basically like a professional random ring light here it's just a lamp and but it's honestly the best lighting ever i kind of want to take it with me i'm not going to obviously but um yeah that is some bright lighting but i thought what better for a oh how do we do this angle okay what better for a little vlog update than just me sitting on my bed with a lamp that gives the best lighting ever so we are obviously back from can now i hopefully there will be quite a few clips of us there and what I'm about to talk about ah we saw Chris Hemsworth so um I specifically had an intention of going there with the hopes of you know something being there connected because he's like the biggest celebrity that I am aware of being of who uh, that I'm aware of you know who could have been at Cannes so we saw him not super up close or anything but like slightly from afar um as he was walking the red carpet with the whole cast of Furiosa for the Mad Max saga which I don't watch but obviously I know him and I know him as Thor super hot looks just as good in person and um, also Anya Taylor-Joy, who is just an icon. I've been posting about her on my Instagram and TikTok. I just love her. She looks amazing this year for the festival, like just pulling out all the looks, serving looks nonstop, just looking like an absolute movie star. Um, yeah, so she looks gorgeous. Saw everyone there. So that was such a fabulous, like once in a lifetime experience. And then, yeah, we saw, I saw Amelia, oh, I don't know how to, what's her last name? Amelia, I don't even want to try, like, um, but yeah, you guys know Amelia Dims. So the girl who does Chicken Shop Date, um, if you guys have heard of that or seen that, she's really, really big now. She's got a really good mainstream career now. But yeah, I love her. She seems great. Um, she wasn't really like smiling or anything, but she was just waiting for a car. So she, what? <laughs> She looked very normal, so um, yeah, no, but she looked great in her outfit, which I don't know if there will be a, a video here. There might be something on my TikTok. She was wearing like a leather burgundy corset with, it's kind of similar to my dress, like not dissimilar in terms of there being almost like a tie-dye gradient color pattern going on with the skirt of the dress so yeah she looked beautiful and I think she was headed to the L'Oreal party 
there were like quite a few BMW cars, but um, we saw the Furiosa cars with all the cast members going up La Croisette, um, but we were still at Hotel Martinez, seeing who else might come out the doors. And yeah, so Amelia was on her way, I think, to one of the events and parties, but oh my gosh, what a bucket list goal. I'm setting the intention now, saying it out loud, speaking it out for the universe that I'm going to attend Cannes Film Festival properly at some point in my life. And yeah, that's kind of it. Just a nice fun day in Monaco, can Got to see everything. I think we're both happy, right, with how the day went. Ticked everything off our list that we would have hoped to see. And yeah, tomorrow's our final day. We're gonna just stroll around Nice. Hello guys, good morning. Just a quick update because we had to pack and get ready and check out for the morning. So I didn't really have time to film before, but my outfit is not anything particularly new. It's what I wore for travel and then my LK Bennett cardigan over the top again. Um, restyled my hair a tiny bit, but anyway, it is our final day. We leave this evening, but luckily we do have the whole day. So today is just purely for Nice. So we're gonna walk around. I think we're going towards like the sea and beach and promenade areas, and then some obviously other important areas to explore. And I've manifested beautiful weather. So luckily it's really, really sunny. Des Anglais. I might have butchered that pronunciation, but it's a, obviously the beach promenade. You can see some of that already behind me. And I didn't know about this because I did research a little bit, but my mom told me there is a Statue of Liberty here, which we've just spotted. And apparently there's a few copies, which I didn't know. So obviously in New York, but then one in Paris. And when you guys see what this one looks like in Nice, no wonder we couldn't find it. This is their version of the Statue of Liberty. But no, that's still cool that they have that. Hi guys, this is gonna be one of the final few clips of the trip. Um, we are sat in a lovely restaurant by one of the markets in the main squares as part of the old town. Um, as you can see, very summery, warm vibes. So it's been lovely weather and yeah, we've just been enjoying walking around. And yeah, we're sat, we're sat in a restaurant. I'm not sure of the name exactly, but they had a really great vegan selection. So that is amazing. As soon as I saw penne arrabbiata, I was like, that's fine. I'll just eat another bowl of pasta because at least it's a easy vegan option, but they actually had a great choice. So I'm gonna have a vegan pizza and of course an apple spritz. Like how can you go a holiday without having a spritz? Although yesterday I did have the Monaco spritz with orange liqueur, but yeah, apple spritz just screams summer to me. And yeah, gonna enjoy that, get a little tipsy on our final day, but it'll be a really enjoyable lunch, I think. And we've got a lovely view here. Um, I'll show you the food when it arrives and a few more clips as we walk around, explore the old town a bit more. And yeah, it's a bit sad it's our final day, but I think we made the most of it. You know, three days of sightseeing a lot, going to see a lot of different places. Um, went to Cannes twice um, and we saw the celebrities that we were hoping to see, so that's nice. And yeah, it's been a great trip so far. A product I would be glitter truffle. <laughs> this is something we're seeing at the airport. I am back home now, as you guys might be able to tell. Um, looking a little worse for wear after a day of travel, a slightly delayed flight, which is not normal for British Airways. I've never had a delayed flight with them. It's always been perfectly on time, but I have to say they did land a little bit early and they made up for it. And it was a really, really beautiful, luxurious airport. It was like one of the best I've seen. You literally enter on a red carpet. It was fabulous. So yeah, that was a plus point. And no, my mum didn't notice. I didn't notice until I went into the airport bathroom. I have burnt my shoulders a little bit. So that's unfortunate, but at least it was just a little bit on my shoulders. I'll just have to live with that and maybe learn my lesson for next time that if it does, I didn't know it was gonna get genuinely sunny, but yeah, for next time to remember that I do actually need to wear SPF. 
oily face but like I said I've been traveling all day so excuse my appearance I'm just trying to do a little outro for the vlog so yeah good night guys it is very late here and this is obviously the end of the trip I hope you enjoyed that and I think there were a lot of fabulous unexpected clips in here so yeah hopefully it was a nice enjoy